The Q presents On the Ground. I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE, and we're on the ground at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley with the Association for Corporate Growth, or ACG. Tonight is the ACG's 12th annual Grow Awards, and we're very fortunate to be joined by one of the sponsors tonight. I'd like to introduce you to Maya Streller Magadi, who is the Executive Vice President and Co Interim CEO of Marvell. Maya, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. It's my pleasure being here. Excellent. So, Maya has an incredibly impressive 15 plus year history of managing global uh, operations for Ericsson in many countries in North America, in Europe, in Asia. Talk to us about, most recently, Ericsson in Silicon Valley. Talk to us about, as the now co interim CEO of Marvell, what is it about ACG that makes Marvell sponsor and actively participate? So, definitely. ACG is an organization that help that you progress, that your thought leadership is evolving with the rest of the Silicon Valley ecosystem. So when I joined Marvell, I want that my peers, my colleagues also have that opportunity to join this fantastic organization and have opportunity to go to the meetings, hear the best possible speakers, top leaders of our industry, and build this Silicon Valley ecosystem that actually creates dynamic of innovation. Exactly, and that is a very tangible feeling here tonight, is the feeling of innovation. As we look at, at technology and the innovation that's been achieved, not just here but globally, we think about culture. And, and interestingly, I wanted to talk to you about some of the different cultures that you've seen across organizations and across the globe. And how is that impacting co companies' growth? I believe that uh, global organizations are bringing even more opportunity to bring diversity into our teams. Cultural diversity, gender diversity, also opening a global market and the different customer views is helping our companies in Silicon Valley actually to be, to be even if we are here localized in California, the, our outreach is totally truly global. I believe that people with a lot of global experience and our global workforce that is joining us is adding this fantastic value to being a cradle of the world's innovation in technology. Now looking at really kind of culture and how you um, develop young talent to bring in that expertise from across the world, how do you do that from a talent perspective and really build a great culture that brings that expertise in from many nations to be the best Marvell can be? So when you're in a company like Marvell, which is a semiconductor company, it's not a company that you easily start anywhere. You have to have a foundation of the highly competent people. You have to be in an ecosystem that produces uh, profiles that are needed. So as a company, we work with the uh, best silicon uh, uh, talent that comes from the best university like MIT or Stanford or Berkeley. Uh, also, we work with the best university in the world. In globally at our sites, we are running also interns program where we are bringing top talent students that are working their graduation work or spending a couple of months with us and so on. And of course that talent becomes later one of the attractive pools that we want to bring to the company. So this is how, how we are very, very proactive working with the universities and also bringing the talent into the Marvell. Our big advantage is that we have our global sites, we are in many countries, so we have possibility to actually get the best talent into our company. And then also once we have the talent with the company, we are moving them around our projects. So this is, the other thing is that it's not easy to get the best talent. You also have to have a good proposition. People, the best talented people want to work for the company that are offering a permanent advancement in their knowledge. And that's why we have a high amount of the PhD students because that's what we want to bring invention and innovation to the products. And that is extremely attractive for the top talent. Excellent, so it sounds like Marvell has really developed a culture of, of diversity 
and really focus on developing that talent from within. So last question, I want to give Maya the last word here. Talk to us about what's next for Marvell from a growth perspective. What's in the future? So we continue where we are. We have a fantastic opportunity in the market that we are. There are billions and billions and billions more of the chips that are going to be delivered in the world of IoT where every device that will benefit to be connected is going to be connected. So there is a great future for semiconductor industry. And of course, there are new markets that are being created, like in cloud and automotive, industrial, and so on. So I just see a great uh, uh, growth opportunity for Marvell going forward, and I am very happy to be part of that. Excellent, and we're happy to have you tonight. Maya, thank you so much for joining us, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. And with that said, I'm Lisa Martin. Thank you for watching theCUBE.